Welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a very exciting new indicator I've got. It works on TradingView and if you are interested in smart money concepts or the ICT teachings then this indicator could be for you. There is a seven day free trial so don't be afraid to download it and get stuck in and just see the potential rewards that you could be getting from this. This is not financial advice, this is for educational purposes only. Let's jump into the charts. So guys, as you can see, we are on the charts and we are currently on gold. The indicator is currently on, but for those who are looking for it, just head to invite only and you can see the signaler right here. Click that onto your screen and what you will get is this. As you can see, a lot of people are aware of this with Smart Money Concepts if you're a beginner. Boss Plus means that it is a break of structure. This plus sign basically means that it is kind of the bigger leg, the swing, if you want. And these smaller dashed lines mean that this is a sort of microstructure that runs within it. Boss means break of structure. Chalk means change of character. And the change of character just means that you have just turned around. You are going the other way with structure, i.e. bullish to bearish. Our sponsor today is helping people scale their privacy online. Now, if you're trying to automate your business online, then you are going to need a proxy. Proxy for you is the best and by far the most reasonable proxy provider out there in the market today. You get fast, reliable proxies with unlimited bandwidth. Whether you're scraping bots or just browsing, it is perfect for you. Go to Proxy for you today with all the links that you need in the description below. What do you say? Let's get back to the video. And as you can see, if you look a little bit further, Chalk Plus means that that's when we start to become bullish in the bigger swing leg. Now. I, what I want to show you is some of the settings. So all you have to do is click up here, head over to the inputs, and we're just gonna run through this very quickly because today I want to show you how the settings work. Now, you can obviously have show dashboard, which means that it will come up on the screen. I don't particularly like doing this because I like to have a clean screen. And if we go further down, you can see S trading, you can see S engineering, you can see risk management, so you can have dynamic take profit and loss uh, labels. You can show take profit and loss, so if you don't want to see the profits here, you can just click that off and then you won't need to see that anymore. Other things that you can put on, you've got the EMA, you've got fair value gap. So I know that a lot of people who trade ICT love to trade a fair value gap. One of the more popular ones is you come into a liquidity pool, you then turn around and they look for a fair value gap to trade from going the other way. You also have RSI extremes. A lot of people like to trade divergences. You have kill zones and these are basically your sessions. Support and resisted pivot levels. Uh, I know a lot of people, if you're trading the prior day candle and you're looking for sort of a 15 minute support and, result, uh, support and resistance to go off, that will plot that out for you. VWAP, another popular super trend. Bollinger Bands, I'm a bit of a sucker for that. I used to trade those. For me, it just shows the volatility in the current session. Supply and demand zones. Now, for smart money concept, you guys love supply and demand zones. I love a supply and demand zone. So this maps that out for you. You've got your range filter and your volume profile. I personally don't like the volume profile, but a lot of you do because it just shows where a lot of volume was coming from because when price returns, you can expect it to sort of react from those areas. You also have the histogram, you have key levels if you want to see the four hour daily and weekly. The key levels are normally sort of swing points. So if you look, if you put the daily on, it's normally a prior day high. If you put the weekly on, prior day high low, it'll map these areas out for you as I know a lot of people who trade ICT concepts look for these as they are liquidity points. Moving down, you have the moving average. I quite like to have the 200 moving average on because it just shows me the general trend. Obviously, you can see it anyway, but if you have the moving average on, it's just it's just there. You can just look at it. Cool, we're above the moving average. It's kind of, you know, above 45 degrees. We're clearly in a bullish trend. It's that kind of thing. It's just easy to be able to see. You have the VWAP indicator, fair value gaps. Obviously here, this is where you can have them on. You can have the maximum fair value gaps on the screen, how many get filled. And, you know, you, you can extend them further if you want them to sort of be seen more on the screen, but completely up to you. But this is obviously a very popular one because I know a lot of people, if you trade CRT, if you trade ICT, 
fair value gaps are the areas that you guys take trades from. So it's just nice to have that on that. And there aren't loads of indicators that plot out fair value gaps really well, but this is one that does. And then obviously the auto Fibonacci. As I said before, those trading, let's say you're trading an Asian session reversal, you take the Asia low, you, you get a break back in, and a lot of people look for the golden zone, which is a 61.8. They look for an area of interest there and then they take a trade. So you can have that drawn on for you as well. RSI, I personally love the RSI. I like to trade divergences. It's one thing that I'm quite big on and you can have that on your screen as well. Super trend, I mean, you can have this. I personally like the moving average, but you know, if, if you like to have super trends, this is here in the indicator for you. Bollinger Bands, you can have these on. They're great. Again, show a lot of volatility. A lot of people like to take profit at the bands, or at least if it hugs a high, you can just sort of take, take your profits as you keep going further up. Now, this is where the configuration of the supply and demand, this is quite a big one because obviously, you know, supply and demand is a big part of smart money concepts. So if you're looking to trade this, then, you know, you can have these settings that how you like it. I like an eight as a, as a low, and that means that's sort of four to the left, four to the right. And, you know, it can just show you good areas to take a trade from. Support and resistant, I don't use these because I use supply and demand, but if you like support and resistance, again, this indicator has it. So it kind of has every single indicator that you want in one indicator, which is why it's so brilliant. Now, market structure is another one. You have your swing points, you have your market structure, equal high lows. If you want your swing points so that you can see the higher highs, higher lows, you just need to click this on and then you will see that these areas that you have on your screen will all of a sudden have higher high, higher low, higher high, lower low, all of this, it will be on the charts for you. As you can see, it's just come on higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. It shows you the flow of the market. And if you're playing, you know, SMC concepts, for example, this is quite key for you because it will show you that you want to trade with the market. You can trade demand areas if you're in bullish swings. And obviously you can trade supplies if you're in bearish swings. So it just highlights these great areas for you to trade. Another thing, order blocks. Now, similar to support and resistance, um, sorry, to supply and demand, very similar, but Obviously, order blocks is a very set thing. You know, it's normally the last candle on the down push before the push up or vice versa if you're going the other way, the up push before the down push. And it will just highlight these areas for you to trade from. You can obviously have middle time frame order blocks there as well. And then the volume profile. Again, I'm not too bothered about that, but for those who like to use this, then by all means it's on there. And then your kill zones, I don't need it. I trade London, so I know when I'm on the chart, I'm right at the start of it. But if you want to have it on, that's fine. And then obviously you can change your session times as well with the colors so you can have it set perfectly for what you need. You have your divergence, you pivot, look back, right and left, which is five. And you have your stochastic if you want it, you have your MFI, your RSI, your CCI, you have all these things. So a big thing I think when you're a new trader is that you can have a lot of indicators on your chart. And if we're being completely fair, upping your trading view account to the next sort of price point to have more indicators is kind of irritating. So having an indicator with all these options for you is also brilliant. It just means that you just need to have one on your chart and you can just tailor it perfectly to how you want. And today, I'm just gonna show you the smart money concept way about how it charts your chart for you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just quickly gonna take off the um, take profits and your stop loss. So I'm just gonna be able to show you the signals, the longs, the shorts and stuff like that. So it's just gonna come on it now. So we are currently on gold, XAU USD, And I'm gonna show you a trade that I caught yesterday, but I just wanna explain the indicator a bit more. As you can see, higher high, higher low, higher high, lower low, and then you've got another lower low here, lower high, and then we break and we start becoming bullish again. Now, this is brilliant because obviously you don't have to chart this out yourself. It just shows you what's going on. And I'm going to sort of just explain these as well. So blue means that you are very much in a, a bullish market structure and purple means that you're in a bearish one. So if it's blue, then chances are you're going to be wanting to look for buys. But 
Another thing is that normally if you are trending bullish, you're going to be wanting to look for buy trades. And if you're trending bearish, you're going to be wanting to look for sell trades. That's the general concept of smart money. And you can see here, you've got the microstructure and then you've got the major swing. So if you're trading this indicator, one thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go with the larger leg. So in this particular case, price was bullish because you have the chalk plus price was coming up. And all I do is I just wait for a pullback and then I wait for a break of the microstructure to be trading with the larger leg. If you're trading with the larger, larger leg, then basically you're making life easy for yourself because you're not, as you say, pissing against the wind. So I'm going to run you through a trade that I caught yesterday. And for this, I'm going to be putting back on the uh, the indicator that shows the take profits and the stop loss. Now, for this example, I want you to ignore the short that has been given out because, as I said, you don't want to be selling against the um, larger trend. It just doesn't make sense. And also, this is early Asia session. So, you know, I don't trade this. I've got no data built on this. It doesn't really make sense to me. So coming into London, you know, sorry, coming into New York, all I'm waiting for is a break up to then look for a buy trade. So I'm just waiting here for it. And as you can see right there, we do get our chalk and it's going to give me an entry in a second. So as you can see, we get our long call and it says entry here. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our entry on this candle and we're going to put our stop loss here. Now, the stop loss is worked on an ATR basis, which is the average true range. So, you know, if you want to put it behind the structural point, you can. But this particular indicator for the signals, the, the stop loss is worked on an ATR basis, which is a pretty safe bet. And then in terms of the take profits, you've got TP1, TP2 and TP3. Now, you know, normally I like to aim for a structural point. That's just how I am. So that doesn't quite give me a one to one. So you can aim for TP1, which would give you a one to one. In this instance, as gold is very bullish at this point, I'm quite happy aiming for TP2. If you want to shoot for TP3, that's also fine. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to hit it for TP2 because this is what I did. Now, I'm fine with the 2R because I risk 1% of my account. So if I win a 2R, I've made 2% of my account. So to hit you with some numbers, if you've got a 10 grand account and you're risking 1%, you are risking $100, right? And if you win, you will be making $200. So you'll be making 2% on the account. And obviously this is great because if you work in percentages, then you can accumulate your account quite nicely with that. And the mindset doesn't change. If you're always risking 1%, you're always risking the same size. So it doesn't mess with your psychology. So at this point, I've entered the trade, okay? And I'm just gonna play this out so you can see how it works in real time. Now, it absolutely smashed through the structural point, which is what I was expecting at a bare minimum. So TP1's hit. This does have an option, this indicator, to trail the stop loss. So basically it hits TP1, therefore the stop loss would go to the break even point, And then obviously it would run on to TP2. But if it does hit break even, that basically means that you finish with 0%. So you've not won anything, you've not lost anything. It's absolutely fine. I'm more of a go for it guy. I don't particularly like to manage a stop loss. So for me, it's either going to hit TP2 or it's going to lose. So that's how I personally manage it. But again, everyone's psychology is different. Just go with it. So as you can see, it smashed through TP2 very quickly. And if you were going to go for TP3, we'll just see if it ended up running that far. It did. And it went on to hit TP3. Now, this is perfect because, you know, as I said, you're going with the flow of the market. This chart it out for you. It gave you the signal to take it. And you could have got 3R on this. And it's not unrealistic to get that. When a market is trending this nicely, there's not really a reason for it to turn around yet. So taking TP3 would have been fine. But as I said, I bagged 1% on my account. And, you know, I made my bag for the day. It's happy days. So really good indicator, very clean, very simple. And it saves you charting up yourself. You can just flick through the pairs all the markups will be there for you in happy days okay now to get this indicator right as i said there is a seven day free trial 
So it will cost you nothing to get this free trial. All you got to do is head over to the website. And as you can see here, start your free trial, seven days free. And then after that, if you want to purchase the indicator, there is a discount at the minute, it's basically half price. And it is a once lifetime purchase, $597, it is nothing. You know, I make that on one trade. I've already made my money back on it because, you know, on that gold trade yesterday, that made it back alone and then some. So really good indicator, totally worth buying. No subscriptions needed. You just start your free trial, test it yourself. Just watch how easy it makes your life and then go ahead and get the lifetime once you've seen how amazing it is for you. This indicator is perfect. And as I said, if you're into smart money concepts, if you're into ICT, it's basically an all-in-one indicator for you. So as you can see, guys, this was a fantastic new indicator. It has basically everything that you need and you can switch around the settings to suit your style. As I said before, this there is a seven day free trial. So go ahead, links are in the descriptions below, get stuck in, download it and look at the profits that you could be making. Now go ahead, like, subscribe and hit the bell button so you can be alerted on my next videos.